Kenya and Cote d'Ivoire are hoping to ensure that children affected by bilharzia can access a suitable treatment before mid next year. Now, medication for bilharzia is available, but it is not child friendly. The Kenya Medical Research Institute, the Center for Global Health Research, is currently doing clinical trials in Homa Bay on a drug that will make administering treatment to children a little easier. As Mashirima Kapwambe reports, the new drug is a welcome relief to parents living by the shores of Lake Victoria. Take a look. Sunset on the shores of Kamgere Beach in Homa Bay County is dreamy. The loud splash of the waves almost drowning the playful chatter of children who live here. But the beauty here belies the silent danger that lurks in the water. Residents of Homer Bay County go about their business, living and earning their daily bread in and out of the lake. But their proximity to water puts them at risk of one of the least talked about illnesses, bilharzia. An acute disease caused by a parasitic worm affecting the liver, lungs, nervous system and even the brain. The, the transmission requires an intermediate uh, uh, host and that hosts are, are snails that are, uh, reside in freshwater uh, bodies. And uh, most of those snails are actually found around the lecture and there's some water bodies around uh, uh, the lecture, so around Lake Victoria. The lives of the community at Kamgere Beach revolve around the water. The parasite that causes bilharzia gets into the body when a person swims, washes or cooks with the lake water. It is common among residents, more so children. Like most residents, Monica didn't know what was troubling her four-year-old. But then she came across a community health worker who is part of the team that has so far screened over 1,000 children since their study began in 2019. <laughs> The stool sample she gave showed presence of the parasite that causes bilharzia. It affects 200 million people across the world. In Kenya, 6 million people are believed to be infected. Children under the age of 5 account for between 130,000 to 250,000. Those aged 5 to 14 years account for 70% of the total at 4.2 million. Adolescents and adults account for 1.5 million of the total. Monica's toddler got better, but administering the medication prescribed over a period of five days was an uphill task. The drug in use now is the 600 milligram praziquantel tablet that doctors agree is not easy to administer to children. The first thing is that the size is quite big, so it uh, presents challenges with administration in young children because they can easily choke uh, you know, when, when they are taking the medicine. The Homer Bay County Referral Hospital is the host of the clinical trials of a more child-friendly drug. Among the components the new drug seeks to get rid of is the bitter taste, while the reduction in size of the tablet will make dosage more accurate. The dosing is really based on body weight and uh, the tablet has to be broken down into pieces, you know, uh, for, for you to get the correct dosing. Now that presents lots of challenges. First, accuracy in terms of how you can split the tablet. Secondly, there are issues about hygiene, you know, when people are handling the medicines to break them. Listed as one of the neglected tropical diseases, Bilharzia is prevalent at the coast, central region, lower eastern areas and the lakeshore region. 
170 children are enrolled in the study that is expected to be complete by March next year. The drug will, however, be available for use in 2023 and ensure access to child-friendly bilhazia drugs that are cost-friendly. Mashirima Kapombe, Citizen TV, Homa Bay.